Hello and welcome, this is Mel Skinner and we're back with some more Dead Cells. This is a new recording session for me, so I'm gonna have to remember where I left off, but if I remember correctly, we pretty much had a one-way path. Okay, we got ourselves a chest. And it is a shield, which I'm not really interested in shield play in this run. And I'm not seeing this being particularly great, so we'll just get rid of it. Alright, now if I remember correctly, the run I had going was based off of turrets and using my bow. Okay, we have an elevator here. Don't want to get smashed by that. Okay, well that's one possibility. And we have an elevator that goes down. So either way we look at it, we're taking an elevator. I'll take the elevator that goes up first. And we'll go from there. Well, level up right away is going to be good for me. Now, with this playthrough, I was going pure purple for tactics because it did benefit us quite a bit. So I'm going to continue with that in mind. We're not encountering many enemies. We can go up or down. Oh, here's a door, so let's take a look at that. Okay, nothing, but every so often things happen with those doors, so I fig figure it's always worth a try. Maybe there's a rune. Okay, so we have a challenge. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check this out first. This seems like a story thing. Here we got a message. A message left in a storeroom. What? Soldiers leaving little notes for each other? The bodies are piling up endlessly. Burning them is no longer good enough. Some get back up, and others even manage to get their hands on weapons. We have to leave this island while we still can. Okay, I guess that is it for that little room. Alright, let's go ahead and open up the challenge. So far, these challenges have been entirely platforming based. Uh, I'm curious if we're going to ever have combat as one of these. And some cells, a level up, which we will continue to go down the purple path because that seems to be the path of righteousness for us. Okay, so right now we have two purple with our current amulet that gives us Minus 10% damage reduction, damage from projectiles reduced by 75%, which could be good, and you get gold as well as a cell. This one is minus 10, so no difference. Damage you take is inflicted on the enemy, so that could be good. Downward smash attacks cover the ground with inflammable oil. To be totally honest with you, that's not that great. It's the same level. I'm just going to recycle it. Alright, it is indeed a platforming thing. I'm going to time this. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I don't think those will hit me, so it's mainly the one above me that's a problem. Hey. Okay, that one I should not have gotten hit by. Alright. It looks like I have to jump. Uh, I almost missed that. Ah. Well, you know what? There is a chain here, so we took a hit. But it's recoverable. Okay, so this is going to be... Oh, come on. I had that one. Alright, a few hits there, but nothing overly devastating. Okay, I already went up. So it's going to be this way. I do remember this particular level being like this, where you have a lot of territory to cover. Okay, we have an enemy that we haven't seen before. We also have that. Oh. I was going to say, I will bet you there's a secret there. Alright, we'll take the teleporter. Alright, there's a blueprint, but we do require needing some careful jumping here. Okay, extended healing. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Okay. 
It has been a while since I've seen this enemy, but I do remember this enemy from before. Let's use that and that. Yeah, that got rid of him pretty quick. Because we have all those level ups on purple, uh, getting through these enemies is fairly easy. Now, we can't go down because I don't have whatever ability we need to do that with. I probably should keep moving so we don't lose our buffs. But the problem with this level is because the hallways tend to be so long. And here we have another elevator. Okay, just checking for secrets. I have not had much luck finding secrets. Not that they're not there, I just am not seeing them. Okay, we have an enemy here. Yeah, our turrets alone are doing pretty good damage for us. And that did a lot of damage too. And the fire should do some damage there. Oh, this guy. Okay. Well, let's, let's throw the pierce out. The way this works is uh, that thing pops out the little slimes, and then the slimes are going to uh, deplete the health of the generator. So eventually you do get enough progress. Okay, I just wanted to make sure he didn't uh, do his charge on me. Now, I don't think that guy can bridge the gap. We didn't really have anything to worry about with them. I do like that they've added in that little bit of aim for the bow, because that's something that the bow didn't used to have, and it's nice to have it. Okay, so we've got the ele elevator that goes up, and then we have this path down. Now, that looks, looks like a door that's going to close in behind me. And then what will we have? A boss of some type? Yeah, it's a challenge. Well, I think I can handle it. Well, not this guy. Well, we managed it, and it looks like we're going to get an artifact. I'm not really sure what that... Okay, it's like a rune. So this is new to me. I've never gotten this item. This permanent rune lets you break through certain floors. Oh, hey, that's something we've been waiting for. So, like that? Yeah. There we go. Okay, so that opened the door. My question is, is there anything else down here? I don't think so. That was just the way to get out. But that's going to open up a lot of possibilities for me at this stage. Um, can we jump up? There we go. Okay, well that makes this whole run worthwhile, uh, getting that particular power up. Now, there was a spot I could have used it, and I'm trying to remember. It would have been right here, right? So, down we go. Hey. Okay. Now, the question is, if I jump down there, how do I get back up? Well, I guess we'll find out here in a second. Okay, there's a roll point. Okay, so we've got double crossbow and matic, which is going to be the same thing as we already have, but a higher level. But the question is, is it better? Well, it looks like it does the same thing. Shots pierce the first target on both cases, and it's going to do... Looks like the same amount of damage, but it's a higher level that we can level up. So I think we should take that. And then we'll recycle the old one. Okay, back up we go. All right, well, that's it for that. So I guess we'll take the elevator because it's already nearby. I kind of do want to make it through this level just in case we lose the rune by death. I don't know if that's how that works or not. It's possible we'll just keep the rune from here on out. Because we know this will kill this guy, no problem. Same thing here. We know that these, this will kill these guys without us having to really do a whole lot. Yeah, we do a lot of damage at this stage. With just, with just our bow, honestly. Oh, we're too far away. There we go. Now, a question is, can I deal with this guy without having to go up there? Uh, 
Because going up there is going to be somewhat risky, but we can do that. And kill him. Okay. There's one more direction to go in. Okay. okay. That will keep him distracted. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Spiky back. Yeah, because I haven't faced those guys in a while, I kind of forgot about that. Alright, so I need to make sure that I can escape. Let's see if we can kill this guy with just our bow. Sure, looks like, looks like we can. And we can also just do that to kill people, of course. I just wanted to see how powerful we've become at this point. I wondered if the uh, that ram skill actually increased our damage. I'm not actually sure. Yeah. We can kill guys with just our bow. And that's it for that. Oh, there is a floor we can break. I don't think it will do anything for us, but hey, let's do it, because we can. I wonder if the rocks would have dropped on him. That would have been an interesting thing to try out. Okay, we've got a door. Uh, I've got the gold to pay for it, so what the heck. Get some cells out of it. Got over 70 cells. Now, if I see an exit, I'll take it. We can do this to burn him. Okay. Um, I'm too far away. Still got him. Oh, that's a new enemy. I have no idea what this guy does. I'm not going to give him a chance to find out, though. Ah, crap. <laughs> I meant to jump on his head. I totally missed it. All right. Uh, keep going down. Give me food. I probably should use a potion just as a precaution here. Oh, I thought I heard one of those enemies that generates... Oh, I did. There they are. Oh! Something had down there happened. I don't know what that was. But it was scary, nonetheless. Just checking for secrets and things. Aha! Well, we have a wool trap level 4. I've never been a big fan of this, and with uh, the stats that I'm seeing, no thanks. I'll just recycle it. All right, so it seems like in this level, a lot of the uh, secrets have been roll secrets, not the like, breaking the block secrets. Oh, is this the... Oh, have we gone for a full circle? I'm going to continue with this, even though it doesn't give me a lot of health. I think we've come full circle at this point, because this is... No, not necessarily. Yeah, okay, this is not been an area we've been... Ah, this guy. Best to hit him from range. Alright, we'll take care of that in a second. We've still got this guy up here. I still don't really know what those guys do. Okay, we've got ourselves a new Sinew Slicer. So our current one is Sinew Slicer 1L. Uh, but it's going to be hard to convince me that that's an upgrade over our current one. First off, our current one does more damage. And it has a lot more uh, traits to it as well. So I'm just going to recycle this. Okay, 
can reach that far. And my bow can reach further still. Okay, that one's going to be tricky. Ow, it still hit me. Okay. Oop. Question here is can I throw down... There we go. Oh, okay, well, that's what it does. I wanted to see what it did, and I kind of let it let it go. I didn't expect it to fall off the, at the edge like that. All right, well, we've got to the Black Bridge, so this is going to be... Uh, we missed out on a shop, but I, I don't think the items over there are that big of a deal. So this is going to be our boss battle, and I honestly think we can manage it. So let's go ahead. Now, the last time we fought this boss, we had that great combo where the, the boss just melted. Uh, it was so quick. All right, well, we got a lot of cells, 83. Uh, I could go with, like, something like the broadsword or, or... Honestly, I'll go ahead and pick up this mutation. And I will invest a little bit in the ice shard just to get it a little bit closer so it's, you know, viable. Then I'll put the rest into the health flask. Until we get the health flask leveled up a lot, uh, I think our runs are going to be... You know, harder. Okay, so we can reforge. I do see uh, a reason to plus this up because the attribute plus 50% damage when at max HP is not really that great. So we'll do that. So plus 75% damage to a slow target. We don't really have an, uh, that ability uh, and shoots an arrow upward. Neither one of those things really help us right now, but I don't want to blow too much gold on this. The other one we could do is reforge here. Now, shots pierce the target is exactly what we want. But we also know that we get more damage if we reforge. So, let's do the reforge. It's not going to help us for the boss. Okay, well, we can do both bleeding and poison damage. So, this actually does work synergy-wise. Uh, if we fire off the sinew slicer first, then the double crossbow amatic, those two will work together. Honestly, at the same time, it doesn't really matter. But... Those two will work together to uh, give us a lot of damage, so I think we're perfectly fine with that. I'll go ahead and do one more modifier mix-up, because these two modifiers are kind of crap. Uh, plus one hit, hit, one percent of hit point recovered per attack, close combat, plus 100 percent damage taken. Well, that's terrible. We don't want that. Plus 30 percent damage bleeding target. I'll take that. Shoots an arrow in front of you. Those two are fine. We can bleed, so that works. All right, mutations. So combo, we're not going to be using grenades, so that doesn't help us. What doesn't kill me recovers 13 of your hit points after every parry. Well, we don't have a shield. Uh, we could get more hit points, which we kind of missed out on because I've been doing a lot of the purple level ups. Or we could get more ammo, which would help us for our bow for sure. Necromancy, I just don't think is that great. Especially as you get further into the game and you have more hit points. So I would say either dead inside or ammo. And the ammo just, I mean, it's times two. So, I mean, in, in theory, our bow would never run out of ammo because we have 12 shots as is. That'd be 24. I think I'm going to go with the ammo times two. I think that makes sense. So we'll go with that. And okay, let's get our health and potion back up. But yeah, I, I think we'll be able to get past this boss. Uh, but where I'm at at this video, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. I think this turret play is going to continue to be good for us. As long as we stay near the turrets, which we have to do anyway to make them active, we get a bonus to damage. And all of our purple things do more damage because we've been upgrading a lot of our purple stuff. So... The bow does a lot of damage, and if we continue to hit with the bow, we start getting critical hits, which do an absolute ton of damage. And at this stage, how many shots do we have with our bow? Does it say? I mean, it should be a lot. We're getting regenerated faster than uh, I'm spending them. So, yeah, that's going to be pretty great for us. In any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.